Welcome to complete SQL tutorial video series. In this video, I am going to discuss about the multi statement table value function. Last video, I already discussed about the inline table value function and uh, scalar function. I, I already discussed uh, how many type of the user defined function and uh, how to create it. So, if you didn't get a chance, uh, please go and watch the uh, video number 58, uh, 59 and 60. Uh, before starting this video. So, uh, let us start with the uh, video number 61 and discuss uh, what exactly uh, multi statement table value function and what is the difference between the multi statement table value function and uh, inline table value function. So, uh, I have this SQL Server uh, Management Studio. I already selected here the database. So, uh, last video I already discussed that uh, if you want to create the uh, function, uh, you need to write the create function and the function name and the input parameter. So, I am discussing here without input parameter and next video I will discuss with the example of the uh, input parameter and the return type is the uh, table, okay. So, table variable. So, whenever you write only table, okay. So, return table, it means that is the inline table value function. But if you writing the table variable here uh, because uh, uh, because this uh, user defined function they not allow to uh, create the temp table ok. So, you need to use the uh, table variable here and the table variable whenever you declare SQL server automatically consider this is the uh, multi statement table value function and this is the major difference between the inline table value function and the multiple uh, multi statement table value function. So, if you attend the interview an interviewer will ask you what is the difference between inline table value function and multi statement table value function. So, our answer is one line answer is in inline table value function. Uh, we use the return data type is the table, but in the multi statement table value function, uh, we will use the return as a table variable. So, this is the major difference. So, here we have the table variable employee ID, first name and the uh, salary and this is the column of the table variable and uh, after that you need to put as begin and uh, between the begin and end you need to put or whatever the requirement you have ok. So, I am here uh, only dis, uh, showing you for the example to select the uh, data ok. So, uh, from the table I have one employee table is there. So, employee table if you uh, see we have the employee information like employee ID, first name and the last name salary and the address ok. So, uh, basically, when you uh, try to do some type of the uh, logic, you need to build the logic in part of the between begin and end. So, uh, that will I will discuss in the detail on the next video. Uh, I will take one uh, real time uh, scenario based in interview question and also even the in the real time also we using the same type of the uh, scenario. So, that will I will discuss in the next video how you can build the logic here. So, I am just giving you here. Uh, that you need to put the all the logic part in this body ok. So, I am just inserting the data into this temp, uh, table variable and I am selecting the data from this table and uh, once you create here ok. So, once you create here this function how you can call this function. So, this function is created and anytime anyone can use this function. So, this function basically returning the table whatever the table we have like employee ID, first name and the salary. So, uh, when you use the uh, function, you need to use place this function name in place where the table name you putting here because this is the table variable function. So, uh, I am putting the select star from function name, ok. So, once you execute it, uh, you will get the output. So, you can see uh, this output is coming. So, this is the multi statement table value function and the next, next video uh, I will discuss about the uh, in the detail uh, real time uh, use. Uh, real time user defined function example of what is the use cases. So, uh, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you so much.